Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. Today I'm gonna show you our tour to the small island in Phuket, Thailand. This island called Buddha Island and this very very beautiful island located near Hawaii beach where we hide this small long tail boat and today I'm traveling with my wife and your mother and sister so sit back, relax and enjoy our trip in this beautiful country. We are finally arrived on Buddha Island. I uh, miss this island, haven't been here for two years. This is my favorite island. And uh, the boat gonna leave us. We come back in three hours. So we're gonna be staying here by ourselves without our captain. And the, the coming two o'clock now is about 11.15. Yes, but my wife. Where I want to sit? In the shade? Oh, you want to go there? What do you think? It's a high tide now, yeah? By the evening the water goes a bit away. Oh, you want to help? Let me help. We've got, what is this? Beer? Ice. <laughs> ice. ice? Lots of ice we have. Mm. 
not many tourists here, not at all. Only fishermen doing some fishing. A little bit windy today, not very hot. That's our friend's dogs. What is this? A vehicle. Hello, dog. We want to sit in the shade away from sun. In fact, people don't really like sun. Oh, look at this water. Nice. Very good water. I want to swim. The dog is very happy to see us. Metal, metal sticks. Okay, we finally set up here in the shade. And this is the, the view. We have a rocks at the right where the fish fishermen try to catch fish. And then we have a whole beach on the left. A little bit upsetting about this bits of metal here. But it is what it is. The water quality is very good, very pure. Fish so clean. Lots of crabs around to show you. Look at those crabs. They're hiding now. They live in the shells. Oh, this one is a big one. Nice. They start to run away. You saw they start to run away. Lots of them here. Now we're gonna check the water out, very crystal clear water. That's my mother-in-law swimming. Yeah, beautiful island. Well, baby, can you pass me my Googles? Sorry. my Google. Just drop it for me. Oh. Almost. Let's see what's under the water. In Buddha Island Beach. Yeah, I found quite a lot of fish here by the rocks. 
by this rock here. It's quite beautiful fish here. Very interesting. So if you're fan of snorkeling, definitely get your snorkel gear with you. And swim around these rocks. You're gonna have nice what can you find. I hope you can hear me. Okay, we're just about to leave, and uh, there is a low tide as you can see. So the, there is a metal pieces here, and the, the, when we came, they were in the water. So now the water is quite far away, and it's difficult to swim now because the corals over there. You can see that dark water there. There's the corals, and there's the water very shallow there. So basically, you cannot swim. Um, because the corals were close to the to the top of the water, and yeah, so if you wanna if you wanna swim here, it's better to come in the morning because uh, when it's low tide, it's, uh, now it's afternoon, it's about two o'clock, and you can see that uh, low tide is uh, good to swim. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly show you a few things around. There's some abandoned buildings on this island, and. Uh, what is this island? It's, it's just like a, a few Buddha statue. I don't know if you can see that on the, there, this golden Buddha statue on this hill. And uh, there is another Buddha statue on another side of the island. We went there last time, but we didn't go this, this time. Uh, my wife didn't want to go there. So yeah, there's a few tourists here. Not many today, but it was, it was more they, they were more tourists before so it's not many now and there are a few monks living in on this island and there is a little village here with a few simple houses there's another abandoned house so this is a few few simple houses where they made from straw and wood where the monks live and there is a little building here there is a statue over there and there is our boat one of these boats is our boat so we're gonna go back to the mainland and actually mainland you can see is over there it's very close uh, it's about 15 minutes from this island so in about 15 minutes we're gonna be in Rawai beach so when you come here you, you need to to find the the sign with the boat, uh, long tail boat sign on the Rawai beach and then ask for the boat. It normally costs around between 1000 and 1500 baht. We pay 1200 baht for the round trip and uh, the driver then asks what time you want to stay here until we tell we told him that we're gonna stay 2 o'clock and he came about half an hour before 2 o'clock to pick us up and yeah, you can see there's a few things over here, but don't expect lots of things here. There's no restaurant, no toilet. Maybe it's a toilet there, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, there is a, another Buddha statue here. So you can see a very small one. There's a big one over there. But yeah, that's our boat. And we have to go. Thank you, Kapung. Kapung Kap. Okay. I'm gonna stay here for now, okay? Just for just make a video and then I go. It's okay? okay. Is it diesel, huh? Work on diesel, huh? Good island, see you later.
little tour around the island and he show us this food there. And there should be another food over there. Captain. Captain. So, uh, this is how they're gonna drop us, just uh, have to swim to the beach. Just return to Rawai Beach and I hope you enjoy our video and if you did please consider to subscribe to our channel give it a like and I'll see you in the next video bye bye